Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in which we are going to go for states' rights or go bust. But right now, we've got to talk about the birth of a nation. Today, crowds gathered in Richmond to celebrate the Confederate States of America's independence in the modern world. Independence can be a fleeting thing, so we must enjoy it while we can. Today, Confederate flags wave from every window and corner, and jubilant citizens sing the Confederate anthem. It's a heartfelt theme that speaks of better tomorrows. You gotta love the Confederate flag. Anyways, hurrah for the Confederate States of America. Now, we're not at war yet with the Union, because we're using the Blood and Iron mod for Victoria 2. So, how I got here was, as you can see on screen right now, there's a thumbnail or an image that of a campaign I did previously. So, that, I started playing with that campaign really as a build-up to get where we are at now. So, I really recommend you guys check out that campaign first. It'll be the first link in the description below so you understand how we got here and why the CSA looks so large and messed up as well as the United States of America and why they have Mexico as a puppet, which I, God, I hate the AI. Also, they do have Cuba and Haiti or, I guess, Hispaniola as well as Uruguay. It is what it is. Um, we're gonna need allies. We're gonna need a lot more guys. So when the war starts, we're gonna mobilize probably immediately. So God's gonna men. There's one faith and one faith only. So, uh, see this. The involuntary uh, servitude continues in our nation. That uh, ever controversial policy has continued on in our nation. Profits happens. You know, it happens. So contentious. Oh, we have election this year for the Whigs. I don't remember when this is gonna start, but it happens eventually. So we shall see what happens. And we, I guess we are—we do the Whig Party here. We also have the Populist Party. We also have the New America Party, which sounds really cool. And the Democrats. So, regardless, we have to go at least pro-military. Also, I know this is not very, um, I guess, normal or right to do. But I maxed out tariffs because we're going to need a lot of money. Actually, we can probably lower tariffs by quite a bit. Um, just because where we're going to head to is just going to be kind of crazy. But we got Mission to Civilize. Very nice. And Manifest Destiny, which we all love. Insurance companies are okay. We're going to drop the amount of money we make. The political campaign of 1860. Honestly, I don't mind the Whigs. I thought, I don't know why we, why we're really the Whig party. Obviously, we're not, well, hmm. I guess technically we're supposed to be Democrats here, but. How's that fair? Pluralism, jingoism. I kind of want to go with reactionaryism. Just because we get state capitalism and jingoism, sign us up. So let's go with reactionaries if we can. Support the reactionary parties, which makes, I guess, some sort of sense here, actually. Uh, that's the case. Let's lower tariffs. Can we go all the way down? I don't want any tariffs here. And we're still making okay-ish money. And we're trying to make two more divisions before this whole thing kicks off. And did you know <clears throat> Wisconsin and the Dakotas were all slave states, especially California? <laughs> so, yeah. Actually, ooh, the Bonnie Blue Flag. I think that's a tune. Hurrah, hurrah for the Southern Rights. Hurrah. Hurrah for the Bonnie Blue Flag that bears a single star. The Bonnie Blue Flag was the first unofficial flag of the Confederacy, and also the title of a popular up, 1861 Confederate marching song by Hen Harry McCarthy, praising that same flag. Hoist of Bonnie Blue and watch recruits flock to our banners. <clears throat> oh, we get, oh, this is really cool with um, uh, Blood and Iron. I don't know if this is in base game. I don't think it is, but we get uh, big old daddy Robert E. Lee, Thomas Jackson, cool-minded school defense, Jeb Stewart, uh, James Longstreet, Pierre Beauregard. Oh, look at that. The Bonnie Blue flag until September of next year. That's actually, wow. Unit Atlanta Attack and Defense. Awesome, awesome, awesome. King Cotton. Not bad. We need at least more stockpiles of that, which happens eventually. Enlist these guys as colored troops. All right, all right. Confederate Cuba. That sounds really cool. Burn the White House. Oh, we'll probably do that. Oh, we'll definitely do that. All right, so, ooh, the second Declaration of Independence. Oh we're, oh, we're at war now. Oh, crap. Okay. Wait, we can do that one earlier or something? Well, alright. We have to be P, so we can do that one later. So, I guess we're at war now. Let's go burn Washington, shall we? So, we'll see how it happens. Actually, we're going to mobilize. It doesn't matter. We, we we just don't have the industry or the manpower of the USA. So, we have to mobilize immediately. Um, So, it's going to really kind of sort of suck, but whatever. And we lost the ships there, but whatever. Um, say capitalism. Let's see. Over here, I already set this up as a naval point, so don't move if you can. <laughs> it's going to be very bad for us if you move. I'm going to lose a lot of ships then. I also, I'm trying to get more uh, sol I thought it was, uh, soldiers here. Soldiers in South Carolina, Virginia, and I think somewhere else. Maybe Tennessee? Tutankhamun's Covens Tomb. Also, I do want to show you... Oh, crap. They're mobilizing as well. That's not good. Oh, boy. Well. Oh, oh there you go. 
New Orleans Infantry. Uh, I guess head over here, I suppose. Start sieging everything they have down. And here's Europe. So we have the French Empire, the North German Federation, which already has Alsace Rain. We have Poland. Um, Bulgaria spawned out early. Romania is here as well now. Uh, Serbia, Ottoman Empire is looking okay. Not too much else has really happened in West Africa. West Africa, Russia's there. Qing China, Japan is still not unified yet, but pretty normal stuff. So, and if this doesn't go well, I'm going to have to retry this off screen. So, just to let you know. Political campaign, reactionary parties, thank you. Southern hospitality. Politeness, etiquette, and warm comforts of home. These define the ideal Southern hospitality and is a major characterizing point of our nation. People are expected to respect their neighbors and use polite terms even when addressing strangers. Some feel that this is an act to put on or put on to cover up Southern flaws such as uh, <clears throat> slavery and widespread poverty, but its nature can be traced back to the traditional Christian moral influence on the Southern states before secession. Regardless, it's made a good mark on our country and we're proud of it. Treat all our own people like family. That's a lot of assimilation rate. 15% is not bad. Open our arms to our neighbors and bring them into our homes. Uh, that's actually pretty good for infamy. We lose... Ooh. We get more immigrant attraction. Hmm. Well, even during the war, we don't get as many immigrants as America. And if we can't assimilate them, we still probably will be able to assimilate them. Because actually, I said this when I played as the United States getting here. Our country... Our population, primary culture, is Dixie. So, while well, we actually have equal number of soldiers as them, um, it might be actually best to throw... Ooh, I think we just try to kill them off as fast as possible. Kill all the American pops off. Uh, how about... Oh, let's take a look over here. Are we still assimilating people here? That's the most important question. Uh, Yankee, you won't assimilate just because of... Uh, well, they're not... They're not accepted pops, but this is the core population. Romanian? No, that's Georgia. No, hmm. I'd rather assimilate them as fast as possible. So treat our own like family. There you go. I just want to burn Washington down D.C. real quick. Just, just, just real quick. Um, sure. Los Altos, sure. You can come on in the war. You want to join? You want to join? They want to join. Now I wonder if we can get the U.K. on our side or anything like that. I kind of doubt it. We don't have that high of a score. Can we have an alliance, please. Oh, okay. Yep, here come the Americans. Alright, so Robert E. Lee's leading this. He's really good on attack and defense. Come to Lexington. One faith, one faith only. Where are you going, son? Ah, oh, yes, we got a new America party. Yes, oh, I love the new America party. We got jingoism, state capitalism. We can invest in our economy, but I'm going to focus on that a lot more later on. <laughs> Where are you headed to? Evansville? Nope. Oh, this is probably a bad idea. But we do have Robert E. Lee, and he's already attacking the north, which is kind of weird to say, but whatever. Alright, where are we all headed to? Stack them all up. Reaction is clear victory. That's fine with us. Nice. Hey, not too bad. Find all their little armies and kill them off as fast as possible. That's why we're doing army decision making right now here too. Oh, that's not. Oh, that's a lot of guys, but they don't have a lot of organization. So, debtors' prison. As the 19th century dawned on Europe, the practice of jailing people who defaulted on their debts was still the norm. In England, infamous examples of such institutions, debtors' prisons, included London's Fleet Prison. In these institutions, debtors were not seldom expected to pay for both room and board, <clears throat> and sometimes even special jailers' fees to effectively pay their jailers for their upkeep. <clears throat> Oftentimes, these practices only served to further complicate the debtors' financial situation, for it is natural reasons as it, for natural reasons, is hard to earn money from inside a prison wall, the system was gradually abandoned in most European countries throughout the 19th century, and London's Fleet Prison was torn down in 1846. A wrongly joked Confederate aristocrat is now drawing public attention to these institutions, calling for the ab ab abolishment. Hmm. Sure, why not? Because I do want to lower our militancy compared to that stuff. Man for man, at least under uh, our good old Robert e. Lee, we're doing okay. <clears throat> First minister appointed, which is weird. Oh, it's ultras over here too. If that's the case, we'll send you guys over here. We'll send you to Houston. All the other guys will link up and help out and support up there, so. Nice. Just smash the living crap out of these American armies. Columbus, we're looking not great, but they have like no organization, which is good. Kill off all the armies. Kill them all off as fast as you possibly can. Ah, very good. That's going to ruin our economy, though. It's fine. It's fine. Whatever. You find them, you kill them. Oh, well, you got 2,000, 3,000 of them up there. Nice. Um, where'd they go? 
A, come on, Washington, come on. If we take... I don't think the war will end, we just burn Washington, so... The United States have discredited Bavaria. Uh, I mean, I don't really care about that right now, I'll be honest. Hey, the Trent Affair. The Union is given into the British and at least our diplomats evading war. Um... The Trent Affair... The, oh, the British HMS Trent, with two Confederate diplomats on board, has been seized by Union forces. This could be our chance. Nope. All right, burn the White House then. A symbol of American power and prestige. This building has no meaning to us, however. Desecrating the symbol will make the American people less willing to go on, and it will certainly be a blow to the international prestige of the U.S. <clears throat> we have no infamy, so I'm totally fine with doing this. We get, we get some more exhaustion, but they lose a lot of prestige. Cool. All right, you're heading on down there. That's good. And then you guys are going to head on up here and take out eh, parts of Huntsville. Nice. Now, we waited. We probably... I don't know if we can actually take more territory. I think the first time when you go to war is just to hang on, hold out, and don't do too much. The Bixby letter. I've been shown in the files of the War Department a statement of the Adjutant General of Massachusetts that you are the mother of five sons who have died gloriously on the field of battle. I feel how weak and fruit, fruitless must be any word of mine which should attempt to beguile you from the grief of a loss so overwhelming. But I cannot refrain from tendering, tending you the consolation that may be found in the thanks of the Republic they died to save. Abraham Lincoln. Saying later, Miss Bixby, we can muster additional support for the war effort. So, okay, so, really, to get, this is pretty gamey the way I did it like this. Um, you basically make sure that you have no soldiers from the parts that have no Confederate claims or cores. Because, like, we, he, actually, no, we don't have claims or cores on this one. Not even Texas. So, all these states that you see, like Arizona, California, we all have cores on. So... And to do that, like, I deleted all the Yankee divisions, basically. So, it's obviously very, very gamey, but it is what it is. I just want to make sure we can win and see how far we go. Because we're going to go to war with America later on, too. So, America is never going to stop wanting to kill us. Go figure. Uh, coming down to Charlotte, which the city I was born in. And let's get all of our ships together, because we really didn't need a navy. If I have to raise tariffs, which doesn't make a lot of sense, but if I have to make raise tariffs, so be it. There you go. Shove all the ships together. And now we got to figure out what we're going to have to do. Um, we're going to raise our prestige and stuff, but the second Declaration of Independence. As the Founding Fathers did before us, so shall we stand up for our sovereign rights and not permit the interests of the North to over of the North override what the South knows to be right and proper in our eyes. We shall be free, and let no free man say otherwise. And America loses 30 prestige. Nice. And we get 30 some prestige as well, so. Nice. We're 13th in the world. Guatemala. Uh, maybe we'll see what happens. Anything else around here? Confederate Cuba, we need to become a great power. I need more prestige. Spread, spread pro-slavery propaganda. We could probably do that. Get a little bit less prestige, but that's not... Eh, he was some prestige as well. Whatever. Life in a new world. We need to outlaw slavery eventually, which we'll do probably. Uh, we got all this stuff over here too. Cool. So we're a republic. We believe in might. Oh, that's actually really cool. I don't know about that. Less assimilation rate though. Hmm. Okay, cool. So, what can we do here now? Not too much probably, honestly. We do have to get ready for the next war against the Americans, which will be much more difficult because they'll actually have time to build themselves up, so. <clears throat> but that's alright. That is A-OK. -okay. We will get there. Tax the heck out of the poor people. Cool. There you go. Now we're making some serious money. Uh, we're going to build a lot of roads. We're going to be investing a whole lot into our economy here. Level 3. Oh, yes. Naval bases. Get all this stuff. I don't trust the capitalists to build roads and factories too much, somewhat, but not too much. <clears throat> Authoritarianism. Very cool. All right, so whatever happens, happens. Um, I'm going to do that for now. Can we build any other divisions up? No, we cannot, which is really bad. But for now, let's go ahead and spread some intellectuals down here. And then South Carolina as well. Uh, was it, uh, it was Tennessee I did do. Was, is it the Volunteer State, I think, or something like that? Something like that. Seventh most prestigious nation in the world. Not bad, but we're going to focus on really building ourselves up. I do want to go to war with some other people, but at this point, I'm not really sure. Brothers of the Revolution have been formed. What is that? Is that Socialist Party? You know, that's not too bad. I don't care much for atheism, but full citizenship and state capitalism is not bad. And I would like... We're still getting immigrants too, which is nice. I would like to get a way more immigrants so that we can um, assimilate them very quickly. So Mexican won't... Croatians assimilate. Dixie, of course, really good, very good. Uh, like Charles? Anyone else here? No? 
Actually, in forward population, we have a total population of 11.5 million. And 44.4% of our population is Dixie. So. Oh, and we have you guys here too. Oh, cool. Yeah, head on over here, guys. Cool. Alright, so we need to start justifying other people and go to war. I don't know how much influence I left with America to take out other stuff. Because it... Ooh, we're going to need... Yeah, we're going to have to beat the crap out of America. Yeah, we're going to need to use a lot of infamy. Now, I did let you know that in most peacetime, like, continuing off from the last campaign, um, during peacetime, you should only get point one reduction in infamy, but I added the safe out to get point three, so I can show you pretty much everything I do. So, we still have point three. So, I think... I want to form the Golden Circle if we can. It's going to take some time because we got to beat the crap out of America. We can't just fire on the... Oh, well, actually, we can't... Oh. Very weird. Mm, okay, well, whatever. Uh, I can't believe they got all this territory. This is really ugly. I'll be honest. Like, you can tell this is really ugly. Really ugly. But if we have to go to war with somebody, we might just go to war with someone like Honduras because we can. 22 infamy. We got the space for that for now. That'd be fine. Baden goes bankrupt. Whatever. And right now, we're going to be focusing on just infrastructure. Infrastructure, intellectuals, and maybe getting rid of slavery. We'll see. I wonder if anyone's trying to influence us. They probably are. A black abolitionist? A free black man of uh, ancestry, a free man of ancestry, has given a speech at a national university. Many were impressed by his eloquence and the intelligence of his arguments against slavery, saying that in a land of freedom, we celebrate the sight of a man in chains. He could become a major force in the causes of abolitionism, and already pro-slave pro politicians have demanded that his speeches be censored. Let him talk. We get prestige. Uh, you know what? Let him talk. I don't mind uh, that for now, because we need prestige. We need to become a great power as fast as possible. The Holy Set Disturbed. I'll be worried about that. Please go ahead. Nah, who cares? Infrastructure, please. Uh, Arkansas, which is a very hot state. Not as hot as probably other southern states, such as Florida. I cannot imagine ever living in Florida. I'll be honest, man. I'm sorry. And we did get Kentucky. Which is very nice, actually, for the war. What's going on here? And a military alliance with them? That's not good. Oh, we lost some ships. That's, eh, that makes sense. These guys are trying to... Where are you guys going? Cool. And I'm just going to combine all these guys. Thank you. That should make it a lot easier. Yep. A lot easier to see. So go ahead and just make sure we got enough transports for now. There you go. Cool. Administration is at 61, 51%, so that's fine with us. Because we're going to need that navy. We're definitely going to need that navy. Build, 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 build. We need one heck of an in industry. Actually, since we have coal in Missouri, let's go ahead and build a thing here. But we don't have no money. So in Missouri, what we're going to do is probably get some more money first. And... Build up a what is what what, do you, what what can we use coal for coal with Jefferson City huh well we still can't build anything yet because we don't have enough money Andres has gone bankrupt surprise surprise a steel factory um I don't know yeah they gotta learn how to adapt well that costs a lot of infamy but I don't really care steel factory we could probably build that total cost is quite a bit of money which we don't have right now but yeah we do cool and knock the homestead app. Signed into law in 62. The purpose of the Homestead Act was to further encourage peaceful immigration from other countries, primarily Europe. And in this, it was a major success. The Act grants those immigrant farmers to apply some 160 acres of federal land in areas not controlled by the Confederates' plantation owners. Nice. Way more simulation and attraction. Oh, God, yes. Give us your bodies. We need as much of that as possible. Alright, so what type of factories are we going to build down here? Some tobacco. Well, since we're so... Oh, social justice. Oh, we all love social justice. The Honduran menace. Actually, how far are we with this stuff? The war of Coke and China concession. Well, I want to make sure we have really good relations with the UK, maybe. And maybe the French. Oh, we're already too... Oh, we're actually really high already. We're an alliance? Yeah. Just don't call us into your pointless wars. Peruvian liberation of Ecuadorian pastaza. Well, okay. Good luck with that. We gotta be. We gotta really make sure that we're on top of education here, and America's mobilizing the, the right to secede. The Civil War is over, and despite our wishes, the U.S. has the U.S. stands divided. Our only option is to extend official recognition of the South's right to secede. If we cannot live under the same roof, we shall be kind neighbors and perhaps even brothers in arms. May God help us all. I'm gonna kill America later on in this campaign. Like that's that's the main goal right now. Kill America. Kill Mexico, because we love them. We only kill them because we love them. We want to see us united, and they won't give us our rights. So. They got to die. 
Oh, America, you're still... F oh, yay, nice, nice. And uh, it doesn't matter if we pause this or not, so... All right, so where are we at here? We need empiricism. We need more research points. And then maybe we'll do some more industrial stuff. So that'll be really good. With that plus 50% immigration. Oh, we're just as strong as America now. Oh my goodness. We're a little bit weaker, but yes, give us as many immigrants as possible. We got to assimilate, assimilate, assimilate. Circulation doubles. Having a free press means having to do with strange things. The Confederate Watchman, a queer little tabloid, ooh, that sees a fair amount of circulation in one of our states, has published an opinion piece painting the foreign minister out to be a member of a secret Masonic sect. Well, this isn't outside the normal scope of this lowbrow nonsense paper. This particular piece of bad writing has received more attention than usual. People, for one reason or another, actually seem to believe these accusations. Denying the rumors will be seen by illiterate upper classes as giving into ple plebeianism, but not denying the rumors will cause said lower classes to actually believe in them. I saw him at the lodge last week. Deny the rumors, whatever, it doesn't matter to me. Hey, we can go to war with them now. Right, cool. Now, this might be really bad, but head on over here. We have. This army is going to be good enough to take out those guys, so I'm not really too worried about it. Actually, maybe anything else here? Uh, too bad we didn't get West Virginia. We do have claims on them, but whatever. Uh, they are mobilized. If they're. Mm, that's 39 division. That's quite a few. Winfred Scotts. Hmm. What other. Oh, we do have coal in Lexington. Yeah. What if we grab some other thing here, such as cement? Yes. Missouri's building. California's doing okay as well. Not too bad. Uh, North Carolina, get those guns. Get them guns, son. Hey, sixth pre most prestigious nation in the world. Nice. And since we're here, oh, uh, that should be enough for Honduras. So, see what happens. And just in case, we're going to go ahead and save beforehand before we actually go to war, just because we can. So. Cool. And national fraternity. Nice. Now let's go and say, just because if things go poorly, I want to make sure that we can do okay here. So That really sucks that we didn't get them. But whatever. Cool. Oh, one of our ships was lost. Eh, it happens all the time. I'm not too worried about it. Are you guys all the same fleet here? Or? Yeah, you are. That's cool. Alright. And they're only allied with Costa Rica, so I'm not really too worried about it. Wait. Yeah, Colombia. Yeah, we gotta take them out later on, too. We only have so much time here, so conquest? Yes, please. And they're allied with Costa Rica, which is fine. No one really cares. And we have enough spending on the military that we should do okay. Very good. Very good. All right, so got a little bit more money. What is the RGOs out here like? Uh, with cotton here, we might be able to build some clothes factories. Maybe? Clothes? Or do we have clothes? Do we need to research that? Uh, steam. Machine parts would be really good to get, actually. Artillery, paper, regular clothes. Oh, you need textiles, don't you? Or fabrics, yeah. Let's do, let's do fabrics. Um, Kentucky, how about we build some steel? Because we have coal. We need iron, but that would be really good to get. And over here, let's grab some steel factories. Well, we did get the steel one. Ammo? Well, we can't afford that. No steel factory in a state. Well, we already have one then, so get some ammo then. Nice. And keep building up the roads. Roads, 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 roads. And infrastructure? Iowa? Oh, Missouri. Yeah, that'd be really good to get roads for Missouri. Ah, La Ceiba. Oh, there we go. Nice. Good. There you go. Cool. Head on over here and seize them down. Cool, cool, cool. The Apache Wars. The New Mexico Apache, led by a man calling himself Victorio, has risen up and massacred several settlers in the state. Provoked by the ever-increasing incursions by the white man into the territory traditionally considered a part of the Apache homeland, Victorio and his band refuse to submit to the U.S. authority. They will submit sooner or later. Oh, yes, they will. Keep building, building, building. Um, uh, nope. We just had a civil war, man. Why would we allow you over here? Cool. Actually, we can go send our guys down to Costa Rica as well. Because then we can get some pay yeah, reparations. We want reparations, son. How dare you try to fight us. How dare you. Infrastructure, please. Thank you. Ah, uh, the slave state known as Wisconsin. And Michigan. Bragging rights, cultural enrichment. Yes, please. Duluth. Tax efficiency, nice. Actually, do we get that one done already? Here we go. Nice. Uh, Central America will be ours. They, the U.S. has signed the Geneva Convention. Ah, uh, what losers! <laughs> oh, Bohemia. Uh oh. Uh, anyways, let's take a look here. So, 
how much or how many do we have here? Intellectuals, 1.9%. It takes quite a while to get enough intellectuals in the south, so. Or really anywhere, so. I was going to beat the crap out of Costa Ricans because we can. Nice, there you go. Cool. Honduras? Uh, they're fighting for their entire lines. I'm going to beat the crap out of Costa Rica first. Because we can, and, more importantly, I want their money. I want as much money as possible. The delegated power is very good. Cool. Limon? Uh, I'm glad we're not involved in this war. We have 100% already, but... Crisis? Uh, I'm not... I'm, I'm kind of glad I'm not a great power. We're ninth or 10th in the world. That's really good. That's really, really good, actually. Let's just take out San Jose next, and then we'll have, and then we'll probably be able to piece them all out. Nope. Uh, tea time, anybody? Tea time? Oh, I wonder if America released... They released Mexico. Did they release Uruguay? Bragging rights? Yes, please. No, they did not. They give Mexico their independence, but not Uruguay. They're a secondary power. Look at that. They have two prestige. Oh, that's what you get, America. Belgium is a great power. They're more... Pro more powerful than America itself. Oh, that's so good. That's actually really good for us. Really, really, really good. So beat the crap out of the Costa Ricans. They didn't do anything wrong except try to fight us. So, And don't forget, roads, roads, roads. I love Alabama. God, I need to go down to Alabama sometime. Gotta go see, the, what was it? There's a George Wallace Museum down there, maybe? Oh, I, I gotta go see that sometime. Nice. Maxed out roads almost everywhere. Almost, not everywhere, but close. Alright, so it's September 22nd. And can we piece you, you out? Yes. Give us our money. Awesome, and we'll piece you out as well. Beautiful. Of course we're going to extend slavery. Hello. Alright, so we could go to oh, Colombia. They're only ally with Bolivia. Our military score is better than theirs. I do want to get Panama. That would be quite good to do. Um, acquire a state. That's 11 infamy. That's not too bad. We do gotta move quickly, though. So, Nicaragua? You know what? Let's go do Nicaragua. Uh, mm. Oh, Colombia first, maybe. I do want to grab this as fast as possible before anyone else does. And we have enough infamy to do this, though. So. But let's be aware of when America was the 12th grade. We're actually more... One more procedures than them. Um, we're truth with. So, 1866. We have to be ready by 1866 to fight America again. Because they will probably go ahead and try to kill us off. So, we got to be very, very aware of that. Tampa. Thank you very much. Savannah. Uh, check out the naval ports just in case. Ah, yes. More Man of Wars. The CSS Dixie. Oh, that's a lot of infamy. That's fine. That's fine, though. Whatever. Apache Raiders. Local native groups are raiding our settlements on Flagstaff. What is this? The Legion? from, you know, Fallout. Oh, boy. All right. Where are we at? Anything else here? Ah, oh, yes. Louisiana. Oh, they have sulfur down here. Oh, that's really good. Oh, we need more money, though. Oh, we are, oh we're in debt. Oh, crap. Well, that's right. L religious temperance. For it is not in the nature of man to have real, unadulterated faith to sp uh, spend his life idly wasting away under the shackles of an oppressing and unquestioned vice. We must strive for the betterment of ourselves and of our communities by expelling from them once and for all the pernicious influence of the spirit in the bottle and raise her eyes instead to the spirit in the sky. The temperance movement has been gaining traction in confederate religious circles and a tent meeting is being held in one of her states is a prime ex uh, expression of that sentiment. Uh, moralism? Yeah, baby. Alright, so we're gonna take a, it's gonna take a while to get more of the stuff here. Oh, we have a five pound loan. That's not very much, I'll be honest. Alright, so at this point, I think we can lower this maybe a, uh, don't lower that one. Lower this one just by a little bit more. We're not even spending that much here either. Uh, let's go with militancy. Oh, we have crisis. Well, we're not a great power, so... Okay, so we're going to have a, cri a major crisis here. Belgium, the UK, Germany, and these guys, the Czechs, versus Austria, Hungary, two Sicilies, Russia. But I think they're going to win. As long as the UK can do something, I think they're going to win, so... Mission to Colombia? California. Due to its fertile lands, fair weather, and close access to the Pacific, and abundance of natural resources, including gold, the state of California is rapidly booming in population, showing unprecedented democratic increase due to the natural increase and in mass immigration. California will be an integral part of the CSA in no time, and the upward trend does not look to be ending so soon. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. How many guys are we getting every, every year? We're getting... Oh my gosh, we're getting more immigrants in America. 2,100 and a half. 
versus almost 3,100. God, I love Victoria 2 so much. Look at that. Oh, are we assuming anybody? Mexicans, Irish. Oh, the Irish want to become Dixie population. Oh, my goodness. Unfortunately, I just finished my coffee, too, but whatever. Uh, let's double check intellectuals as well. Virginia, 2.2%. Tennessee is 2.7%. I want to get it to 4%. 4% for us. Oh, and uh, roads would be good to get down here, too. Uh, so, assimilation efforts in Mexican areas and territories are progressing slower than they should reasonably have to. And one of the reasons is that Mexican children are still educated in their native tongue. By forcing compliance to a natural curricula, we can foster a new generation of children to identify more directly with the Confederate state. Absolutely. Absolutely. positively lutely <clears throat> Beautiful. The Confederate way. Ours is a nation of my, where a man's strength determines his, his success, and everyone knows very well how superior we are to our neighbors. None can hope to compare to the Confederate States of America on our best day. A recent report in a Richmond newspaper regarding the execution of a foreigner believed to have been engaged in criminal activities on Confederate soil served to reinforce her people's beliefs. Today, they walk a little bit more proudly than before. I always knew this to be true. Beautiful. Why do we have so much infamy? Or militancy? Universal weighted Southern hospitality? Huh. Okay, well, whatever. And we were 44.4%, now we're 0.9%. Nice. Keep going up. We gotta pump those numbers up, sons. Not bad. Plurality's pretty good. And we'll send you guys down south. That's a lot of soldiers there in DC. Um, that's not good. Uh, that one too. It is 64, so we gotta be aware of that. And what do we need here? Probably another artillery piece. Yeah, let's get some more artillery. And for you guys down there, go and build some infantry. How close are we to going to war with them? Uh, about halfway there. Alright, not too bad, not too bad. <clears throat> and where's the division being made? Mission to Columbia? Oh, well, it's going to take a while. Staunton. Where's Staunton? Staunton. Alright, oh, it's in Virginia. Good. And then after this, we're probably going to go ahead and just make more soldiers. Yeah, um, we're already allied with the French, so that'll be good against use against America, so... Uh, you guys? Would you like an alliance? No? Okay. How about you guys? I don't think we can form an alliance with you guys too, huh? We got some pretty good relations with everybody here. Or oh, everyone that's somewhat important. Belgium, Bavaria, these guys don't really matter too much, so. Actually, we can't even do uh, influence stuff. That's fine. We're fifth most prestigious nation in the world. Nice. A black abolitionist. Game of prestige. We're fourth in the world for prestige now. A Brazilian Confederate relations. Historically, Brazil and the Confederate States of America enjoyed, enjoyed warm relations, even during the Civil War. Shall we foster an alliance between these two nations? We're fine by ourselves. We've found a strong ally. Heck yeah, we'll get the Brazilians in here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so I want to do industry stuff, but I'm going to keep going down this way as well. Ooh, get some more digging cap. That'd be really good. So if they attack us, we get some more defense. That's a lot of guys we've got to be uh, careful with. So, Oh, what do we not have? Artillery? Oh, we can actually build a Dixie Detroit soldier. Ooh, we already have five. We need one more artillery first. That's the case. I don't like doing this too often, but uh, for the military here, we need some artillery. So let's come over here. Where is artillery? Oh, it's in very... Oh, crud. It's in high demand. Just go a little bit higher, please. All right, 29 ships. Not bad. Nope. They're still... Ah, see, that's what happened when I played as these guys, too. They got stuck down in Venezuela and Peru. Ah, there we go. Now we go to war with these guys. Eh, we should be okay by doing this anyway, so there you go. Head on down south. And we're going to go straight for that, that Panama region. Because we can start getting more ticking war score. Oh, look at we got some guys down here too. Nice. Head on down to the, the port just in case. Oh, and we wanted to build that thing up in Shreveport, right? Or like Charles? Like Charles. Uh, sulfur is really nice to have. Let's see. Anything else? We might actually want to take a little trip to China too, maybe eventually. Ammo factory? Sure, why not? And we have enough money. What else can we build down here? Fertilizer? Yeah. Cool. And keep building up the roads. Anyone else? Yo, oh, God, yeah. Florida? I love Florida. I just could never imagine myself living down there. Alright, cool. And we're here. Welcome to Columbia. Clark State, Panama? Yes, please. Still 64. Very, very good. I probably should have done Panama City first, but whatever. It's fine. Totally fine. We have a lot of col uh, colonial points. Hey, we're a great power now. Look at that. We actually beat up the Belgians. We're actually a great power. That is so cool. 
So cool. Increase relations with all the good guys here. Oh, maybe except for you guys. Uh, would you have an alliance? Probably not. We're allied with the French, which is pretty nice. But, mm, we'll see. We're a great power, and America is not. A core population of, or total population, 12.8 million. Natural dies. Long we've had strong ties with Brazil. Or natural ties. And many Brazilians find themselves at home here in the Confederate States of America. We hope to see even closer ties between our two countries in the future for mutual benefit. May our friendship prosper. We love those guys down there. Alright, so since we've become a, a great power, I want to start influencing a lot of nations down here. Maybe Peru there? Well, those guys, so... Ping Nan Guo... Oh god, China, what are you looking like? Whoa, that is weird. Um... Well, I don't want to. I don't want to kill Brazil. Oh, they're already in our sphere. I'll keep them in our sphere then. Anyone else? Argentina would be good to get. And Chile as well, because I don't really probably plan on taking them out. Probably Bolivia. We'll kind of war them. Wow, that's a really sad Bolivia. Everyone else is pretty much fair game that I want to take out. Anyone else? Actually, we got Portugal as America, so I want to get Portugal back too. And we've almost gotten them. Hey! Elections, huh? Wartime elections. Alright, so let's go... Incident in Honduras. A demonstration by Central American citizens in La Ceiba quickly got out of hand as Confederate soldiers shot into the crowd to disperse it. A riot ensued and several protesters were slain. Throughout Honduras, the reaction has been one of outrage and there's an effort by some Central American malcontents to draw the attention of the world. Just one more example of the Confederate States of America's disregard for peace and civilized behavior, or so they'll say. Eh, terror cells, and yeah, it is what it is, you know. People need to learn their place. Cool, and head on down here. All right, so we got the Maiji Restoration. Oh, oh, does that mean Japan is now unified? Imperial Japan. Someone did ask if I could play as Shogun of Japan sometime. I probably could. Yeah, I don't mind doing that. Maybe sometime. Twenty fourth in the world. Well, uh, for 20, 24 military power, twenty fourth place in the world for military. That's not great. Uh, let's do that one too. Thank you. And do that too. Georgia, get as much roads as possible. We love roads here in the CSA. Segregation. Uh, let's do that one. Contentious elections, cool. Contentious ones. We always have election, uh, an election during wartime. So keep getting them populations, assimilate the living crap out of people. Oh, look at that! Eight out of seventeen, nice. So if that's the case. We got one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, we're making so many more populations. I love it. So that's five. We need one, and then boom. That'd be a really good army to fight the Americans with. Oh, hello. Uh, actually, George Hardy, you're really good on attack and defense. Ooh, let's head on over here. We should do okay here. We might not do okay, but... Ah, uh, there we go. We're slaughtering them all. All right, so is that enough to peace out with you guys? Nope. Oh, that's a lot of score we need. Colombians, come on. I know our army isn't super great right now, but still. Surge of socialism. It seems like the socialists have a talent for the current in the current election. They find the right words when and where they are needed. All over the CSA, their new agenda has persuaded a lot of people to join the cause. Oh well, oh well. It is what it is. Yeah, our soldiers are looking really beat up. So, protectionism, free trade. I'll do that protectionism for now. Cool, cool, cool. Spending a lot of money. Hey, there you go. Nice. Um, anything else here? I we really, I think we should really get some more of this stuff. Point defense systems, not too bad. Get more defense and such. Military plans, more organization would be really good. Get more, eh, let's do some of the cheaper stuff first. That'd be good. All right, how are we doing up here with our national spirits? Virginia is 2.6, 3.2. So the one in Tennessee will finish up more quickly than it, it, all the other ones, so that'll be good. Roads, we're really trying to industrialize here quickly, 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 quickly. More prestige, nice. Empiricism, less morality, but whatever. All is well. Don't worry about it. Election fraud. Why are they allowed to change the rules during an election? Drawing random borders to scatter those who won't vote for them is not fair. It is fraud, I tell you. They divided our district between four others because they knew how we would vote. Fraud, that's what I, what it is, I tell you. The issue of voter dis district gerrymandering has been reportedly raised, repeatedly raised in the current election. We have a right to do something? Want me to play the, the world's smallest fiddle? Yeah, election fraud's not cool, man. All right. So what do people want? Moralism. Okay. Let's uh, see. Capitalism, slavery allowed. Mm, how about the people then? Outlaw slavery. Moralism. Well, which one will give you more immigration? Probably universal voting. 
Oh, but cast. Uh, ooh, getting. Ooh, but so much more immigration attraction. I don't really want this one, huh? I'm gonna go universal because I, even though we don't like that here, we get supposedly way more immigrants, and we need the population. Oh, look at that! Roughly four thousand a what, a day or a month. Way more than America. Roughly double. Conservative. Ah, my state capitalism. Not laissez-faire, please. Not like this. Do it again. Hold another election. I want to invest in roads. Oh, crap. I can't tax the crap out of poor people now. Ah, oh, the wigs. Why? Um, actually, go against socialists. But go back to reactionary. I think that's just really good for jingoism and stuff. Uh, but then again, I kind of want to go socialist just because you get, say, capitalism and full citizenship, which I do like. So, what do you have here? UK. France, Germany, Russia, keep increasing relations, Bavaria, I guess we can do that, I just wasted that. Um, here, military access, call ally, we could do that, but whatever. There you go. You know that too, I don't really care. Better rain, a dry spell in one of our colonies has caused friction between colonial officials and locals. The lion's share of the res reservoir water in the area has been diverted to colonial factories and plantations, leaving many local small holders with insufficient water for irrigation. As the days turn into weeks, tensions continue to rise. Diverting more water to local farms is an option, but might be viewed internationally as a sign of weakness. Save even more water? Lose a little bit of prestige, whatever. It's for the people. And we have no money, because... I hate the party that we have in here right now. I don't want to do this. Uh, I don't want to do this either, so lower this by quite a bit. And if we have to raise tariffs just a little bit, so be it. Just get a little bit of money going. Because I don't want to be in debt. I will. I do not want to be in debt. Debt is not a good thing to have. Uh, slavery debate? I will debate to take its action. A natural end to slavery. Is what we would go for. Oh, we're getting some money I forgot from Costa Rica as well, so. Not bad. Hello. Wait. How, wait, how did you go from this area to here? You didn't even go on the ships. How unfortunate. I was going to take a long time to get through this. Oh, that's not good. Surge of liberalism. It looks like the liberals have a talent in the current election to find the right words and when and where they're needed. All over the CSA, their new gen has persuaded a lot of people to join the cause. Cool. All right. And how is our military up here? Looking not too bad. We need the cavalry and the two artillery pieces. Um. Oh, you're over here. Oh, you're stuck over there. That is not good. Quite not good. I doubt we can get military access through here, can we? Yeah, they won't let us do that. They are secondary. Hmm. Well, let's see what happens. So let's come up to... Let's go up to Spokane. You guys are horses, artillery. So this will be the Army of the West. So we need the... What? Two artillery and a horse. Artillery? Artillery. And we'll build a horse because these guys move pretty quickly. Two stars. Nice. That'd be good. And uh, do we still have debt? No, we do not. Which means it's... Oh, we can't build in the... Nah. I tried to industrialize as fast as I possibly could. I tried to. Immigrant deported? That's precisely what will happen. Bragging rights, more plurality and prestige. Okay, so now we're the populist party. The one party I did not want. And we're still laissez-faire. Ah. Hey, I got the research done. That's really good, though. Just because America might go to war this relatively soonish. Uh, let's get some more iron loaded stuff. The slavery debate. Uh, let's do that one. Conservative party is way down. Socialist party's gone up. I think we're probably going to stick with the populist party for a while now. Kind of sucks. All right. Well, anything really changed here? Not too much. Mobilization size is not too bad. Extend freedom. Yeah, let's get some full citizenship going. Not bad, not bad. Keep building them up. How are we doing up here? Not great, but it'll have to suffice. So after we get that one army made, um, reactionary surge. Okay, there's there's a lot of good more reactionaries. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. So if that's the case, we're building those guys up. We need, we need to make some more divisions anyway. So let's go Saginaw. Oh, that's cool. I know someone who lives up there. Hussar, 
get an infantry, get some two artillery pieces. What is that? Loss of support. Oh, whatever. And get some more infantry too. Nice. Um, you didn't give me. Actually, if we raise our relations with Americans, then they won't be able to go to war with us if we really high relations, right? So, actually, yes. I don't think they'll be able to go to war with us if they have military access. I could be wrong about that, but we'll see. Wait, so you don't give us that, but we give you that. Wow. So as long as we have 108 relations, they won't be able to go to war with us. Oh, they're ninth great power in the world. War dominates the elections. We encourage all the Jingoists. Yeah, we'll probably do that one. Oh, this is taking forever, too. Oh, look at this. Um, What do they want? 0.05%, 0.05%. Ruling party, let's go based on population. Why not? And one more time, check up here. Population survey says 3%. 3.6%, that's getting close. That's getting quite close. Foreign cuisine. Let's see, thank you. Plurality. And actually, how's this? Are we getting the ticking stuff yet? We should be getting the ticking so stuff yet. Right, right? No? No, we need... Fulfilled in 40%, so we need to get 100%. I don't want to leave... Oh, the wigs are here. Reactionary party rocked by scandal. God dang it. Eh, whatever. Wigs... I'm going to keep holding elections so we get the stuff we want. I don't want to leave my army here just because America could attack. Eh, we could risk it. Come to Wilmington. Bigger naval base. We can't build roads, though. Why? Can we, can we at least spend money here? Oh, we can't even spend money there. God dang it. Peru? Oh, let's get some Peru. Got some Peruvians here. Nice. Hey, we're seventh in the world now. Look at that. Is America behind us? No, we're actually more prestigious than Austria-Hungary. That is, that is weird. Keep good relations with everybody. State capitalism. We love state capitalism. Send you guys down here too, just because I want to get this done with. Colombia is a huge time sink, but that's fine. Whatever. Come, on, uh, yeah, come over here. And we can do Argentina and Chile. Tax. Yes. Good, good, good. Chile goes bankrupt. Well, that's not good. <laughs> Alright, there you go. David, there you go. And there you go as well. Keep blockading them. End of the boom era. California's population has drastically increased over a short period of time, and for a while, this was one of the largest migrations in a country's history. It's now begun to slow to trickle. California is still booming, perhaps not as strongly as before, though. Alright, still not bad. I'd still rather take it. Total immigration is 2,500-ish. Now America is getting a little bit more. It is what it is. Actually, how's California looking? Oh, you need a port there, too. There you go. I guess we can still build up ports and such. California. Well, there's still quite a few Yankees here, but quite a few Mexicans as well, but that's all right. That's totally okay. Oh, look. Quite a few Dixie soldiers down there. Dixie uh, guys. And if we keep going on, can we build the port here? Yes, that'd be good. Norfolk. Uh, anything over here? Nope, not too much. Cool, that's okay. Actually, 10% Dixie down there. Nice. Political campaign. I want the reactionaries back, so far, support these guys. Tour by Jingo. Hey, look at that. We got more population. Now we can get a fourth national focus. Bragging rights. Thank you. All right. Let's take a look here. National focuses. Lost support. We're super close. 3.1%. Uh, 3.8% is good enough. Go back to soldiers. We need more soldiers. South Carolina, that'll be good enough. Uh, Administration-wise, how are we looking? Not great. Let's go start getting some more bureaucrats around here. Uh, let's go with that one. This one's going by very quickly, which is good. Where is the source of the Nile? The Royal Geographic Society has announced that an award will be presented to the first explorer who determines the source of the Nile. Actually, how strong is America? What 51 score? They have 100. And Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, money-wise, that's fine. Plurality, nice. We need to go to peace quickly so we can lower some of our infamies too, so. Alright. Quibido. Why not? So Piedmont goes bankrupt. That's very, very good. We have some soldiers here too. And secularization first. Nope. RC. So that's not too bad. We need probably let's get three more artillery first. Actually, let's do it like this. Uh recruitment. Three more, three more. Let's see. Uno. Dos. Tracerino. And you guys need more infantry here probably, so there you go. Coming to Seattle. 
And relation-wise, America's still not on top, which is good to see. It's probably because they're still at war, technically, so. Ah, the Liberal Party's back in power. God dang it. You know you have a good nation when you just have election after election after election after election. Our government does not allow us just to switch parties whenever we want. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Hey, I got David. That's good. Um, what is this? Citizenship demonstration? The immigrants in San Pedro Sula have gone out in a demonstration, protesting the lack of equal citizenship, and demanding equal recognition under the law for all Confederate citizens. Listen to them? Uh, so that's fine, whatever. But you have to become citizens for us to do that, so. Uh, Liberal Party support, mobilization, mobilization, whatever. Go straight for the capital. Screw these guys. Uh, war dominates. Encourage the jingoists. That'd be good. And... 53 score, huh? Okay, well, whatever. Oh, and we do this too. Nice. Uh, we'll do that one first. Nope. Hey, we got some people off. Okay, cool. Nice. Very nice. And we're really focusing on these guys here. Not bad. But I... Eh, let's go with inorganic chemistry. The Suez Canal. A nation has started construction on the Suez Canal. We wish them good luck. That's not good. Um, hmm. Let's do this stuff. We want to get some more production in factory throughput. Fine. Get more plurality. That's fine with us. Slavery debate. Ooh, let's do that one. And we also have Bogota. And we're just trying to destroy South America here. Or at least Colombia. Hopefully, well, maybe someone's already started work here as well. But we'll see what happens. Tunisia? Come on, finish this up. Hey, there we go. Nice. That's what we wanted. And of course we'll extend slavery. What do you, what do you mean? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Actually, I'll send you guys home first because you really need to get more ships and stuff like that. There you go. Not bad. Oh, actually, yeah, go here first. I right, see so capitalism. Go here. Cool. And it's much faster to do it like this. There we go. So now we're at peace. Oh, consider Cuba. The island of Cuba is a natural extension of the American South, and the Cuban culture is highly compatible with our genteel, slave-holding ways. Cuba belongs to the Confederacy, and the world knows it. Give a little more infamy. Yeah. Cabarino's accepted culture. Nice. Spread pro slavery propaganda. Oh, that's not too bad. Casas Bella acquisition speed. Um, hurts her prestige for a little bit, but... Why not? Be oh, there we go. Begin the Golden Circle. I definitely want to do this one. So, we need, for all core states previously owned by the CSA. So, we need to go back to war with America sometime. <clears throat> so, we definitely got to do that one. But we probably won't get that one done now. We could sign the Geneva... Uh, the Geneva? The Geneva Convention. Actually, we lose daily infamy. Usually, isn't it like an HPM you actually get more infamy? This is not too bad. Maximum military spending... It's not too bad. Our country's not yet signed the Geneva Convention, delimiting and defining justified conduct of war and the treatment of war wounded. We can still sign it. Okay, well, that's actually not too bad then. And we can start beginning to build the Panama Canal once we get some other things done. Re we can reinstate the Atlantic slave trade? Whoa! And which we get what? That's actually... Wow. That is... That is wild. That's absolutely wild. Um, where's the Panama Canal here? We need inorganic chemistry, steam turbines, and iron steamers. We're going to need a lot of money for this, man. Uh, we can probably lower military spending just a little bit more. I don't want to tax too many people, but still. What is this? How long have you... Oh, Canada's here, too. We got a lot of people to beat up. So many people. All right. So you guys looking not too bad. We're still making some... Oh, conservative party. Why? I want someone else. At this point, I'll take the socials too, please. I'm going to keep doing this. People probably don't like it that we're just flipping parties all willy-nilly, but I don't really care. And we're also at peace, so we should be getting a lot more immigrants now. Just like America. They got 5,300. Holy crap. Oh, we got... Well, we're roughly about 5,000. So, not bad. How much support do they have here? Really, the wig... Oh, reaction. Let's go with reaction again. We'll see what happens. And let's start saving up our money too. And we're not going to go to war yet just because we have quite a bit of infamy. I think it would be best way to go to war. So, And since we're at peace, cool. Hey, the Empire of Japan. Look at that. Nice. Not too bad. Get more production. That's a lot of American soldiers. Production fraud. Yeah, let's do that one. 
Keep going, mechanical production. And how are we doing in Virginia for this stuff? They are at 3.5. That's super close. South Carolina, Missouri. Actually, how's Missouri doing with bureaucrats? We're sent to the world. Nice. Missouri, Missouri, Missouri. We're getting, we're getting closer. Not great, but we're getting closer. Venezuela goes bankrupt. Segregation? Oh, yeah. Actually, they're right. More factory throughput. Nice. Let's get inorganic stuff next. There we go. Nice. Very good, very good, very good. We're a little bit behind the times, but that's all right. Makes sense. Slavery debate. Doesn't matter to me. Don't really care. I guess we we're going to try to keep slavery then. That's fine with us. Uh, who won? Was it the conservative government? <sighs> yeah, people don't like it that we keep doing this. We get more consciousness too, huh? So the end of the game here is for us to form the golden circle, but lockout. Capitalists in one of our states have caught a lockout following a period of intensifying labor conflicts in the area. Workers have been informed by management that no one is welcome back to work while union sympathies still run high among the employed. Local police have expressed support for the move, citing a long series of disturbances at the factory, some even bordering on sabotage. Loose pr plurality. Hey, that's unconstitutional. Uh, this will help us get more reactionary support? Yes, please. Even though that would be really good to get some more reforms done with the socialists, but... Okay. We'll see what happens later on. Just because I, ah, I... We need more stuff. First minister appointed. Oh, naval stuff? That really doesn't matter to me too much at all. Okay, orderly election. <clears throat> nice. An orderly election is very good for us. Oh, look at that. Peru, yes please. I do want to go back to war with these guys, though. 105. They have 114. Election fraud? Yeah, well, no. No election fraud here, please. And you guys, you need two more infantry, so, yeah. We're building ourselves up quite nicely here. One. Yankee infantry fighting against some Yanks? Yes, please. Uh, oh, what? I choose the wrong one. There we go. Now I can see which one we have. Iowa? Yes. That's all we need, right? Yep, that's all we need for that one. Great. Hey, machine parts, yes. Oh, I wish we could build out of misery. Ah. Oh. Bavaria is still a great power. That really sucks for Germany then. But whatever. Don't do that too. That's fine. Cool, more production. Nice, 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 nice. Election fraud. God, they... Hmm. There's a lot of fraud around here. A lot of election fraud in the CSA. Preacher man. And let the Confederate know that we will not sit idly by while they call the sh sheep of our flock. Our local preacher in La Carusis has been preaching national resistance against the rule, and he is but a symptom of a broader disease. In fact, much of La Carusis clergy have been acting uppity lately. Goodbye. Auto Empire's gone bankrupt. Okay. Peace always prevails. What are you, crazy? Uh, bureaucrats are fine. Intellectuals. Uh, at this point, let's let me get rid of this one. And then start doing it in North Carolina. More, 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 more. Learn, people, learn. Right. Oh, Russia's at war, too. Look at that. Is America still at war? Oh, these guys are still at war, too. Why? Oh, these guys are war too. Look at that. Crimean War. But there's no French or British people here. Okay, well, whatever. And these guys are fighting against these guys too. Cool. Uh, I, I'd rather take the socialists right now. I don't want to keep holding elections. Oh, good. We try it. There's a lot of liberal support too. Ecuador? Nope. Slavery debate? Uh, we will not reform slavery laws. What are you, crazy? I just want to help build stuff. God dang it. We're ninth in the world for military is not too bad though. Oh yeah, we're, look at our population. It's just getting bigger and bigger, 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 bigger. We started with 11.5 million, now we're at 14.71. Nice. Chile. Cool. I'm gonna get a war with them probably for money back. Cool. You guys come up to Manassas, so you guys come down here. And now we need one infantry and three artillery. One infantry, three artillery. One infantry. Three arties. You know it's good when uh, Michigan has a lot of Dixie core population. Oh, and there goes the money. Actually, we might lower the tariffs as well, just in case. Oh, America has demobilized. So what happened? Six in the world. Election fraud. Of course, of course, of course. Actually, I'm going to stop taxing the, the capitalists, so maybe they can build more stuff. There you go. It's, we're not even making that much money from them anyways. Nope. And we'll do that one too. Cool. Wool production. And... 
Cotton wool production? Perfect for us. And now we're losing money. God dang it. I kind of want to go socialist, but they're really small. And once we start opening up to more social support, it just... It opens the floodgates. I just... Mm. I'm going to go reactionary. Fourth most prestigious country in the world. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So we just got to keep an eye on these guys because we have to beat up America. We're going to fight for a country. You bet we are. Cool. Empire Japan. Yeah, I don't, just don't think we'll be able to get there. I'm going to keep doing it, though. I don't care. Infinite elections. Come 30 people have spoken for now, but not really. Okay, so that's good. Uh, what do we need to build the canal again? Because I want to start working on that immediately. So we need steam turbines and iron steamers. Steam turbines. Oh, I want to get all the way down there. Oh, that sucks. More mining and stuff like that. Clean coal would not be bad. Coal. Uh, interchangeable parts. I definitely want to get this one done. But it doesn't look too bad. Jigs? Not bad. Let's do this one. Get a steam turbines. Expedition returns out success. Let's do it again. But I think we'll end it here for now. Even though we're losing money, we actually have beaten up America for now. But we'll see what happens in the future. And actually, look at that. We've been spreading our Dixie culture all around the Pacific Northwest. The good chunks of the Midwest for now. So, honestly, not too bad. If you enjoyed the video, though, do please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow. As we will probably go back to war with America and take some of our core states. And maybe even beat up Texas and maybe even Mexico. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.